Hey, what's going on everybody? Echo Side Fiend here, back once again, and uh, today I got some, uh, not really an unboxing, but some uh, new uh, items I picked up that I'm going to open up and show off. Um, but uh, before we get started, I hope everybody, uh, if you watched NetFest yesterday, I hope you had a good time. Uh, like I said, I got together at my friend Ivory's place, um, watched it there on a projector. Obviously, we couldn't use the projector uh, fully until it got a little darker, so we just had our laptop sitting up because uh, we were outside. But uh, had a fire going, uh, got got quite a bit colder than I uh, realized it was going to be. And uh, also, I ended up having to leave and head home uh, before Twisted even went on. I left right after Blaze and started heading home because I was so ridiculously tired. So I just listened to it on my way home and uh, got home, caught the last few songs, and then went to bed. So, But uh, uh, also, uh, just for the elephant in the room, uh, yes, the riots downtown in Grand Rapids happened yesterday. Um, Certainly don't condone damage and things like that. Uh, I know the protest went well. On my way to Ivory's, I ended up having to drive through downtown because of a, a expressway that I was planning on taking just over to her neighborhood uh, was closed off. So I ended up having to drive through downtown. Uh, this was as things were getting underway. Uh, not the riots, but the protest as people were heading down there. And um, I could already tell it was going to be not good. Uh, it, there was just so many people heading down there, there was already people shouting, there was anti-protesters, you know, uh, down there, everything, it was, uh, yeah, it was not good, I, it was, like, the, I was, right when I was driving through, like, right where the thing started, there was already a group of, uh, people with Trump flags, and, you know, yelling at the people that were walking up with Black Lives Matter signs, and I was like, yeah, this isn't gonna be good, I'm glad I'm not coming down here, I'm, I'm all about, uh, you know, peaceful and free protests, but I, I knew it was gonna divulge into, uh, what it did, and, uh, I was watching some of the live videos as I was going to bed, you know, it was probably about 2 o'clock or so as I was kind of like settling down after the concert was done, and um, I was watching a live video that one of my friends had shared from someone else, and yeah, there was already, there was still people, I saw like somebody pick up a fucking fence and throw it through a window and all this shit, and I was just like, this is, yeah, this is fucking crazy, and um, Ivory doesn't live too far out of downtown, and we could actually hear uh, a couple times. We could hear stuff going on down there, and there was helicopters flying over, and we'd hear sirens. You know, as all different uh, stations from the area were being dispatched down there. You know, fire trucks and emergency and everything. But um, and uh, reading today, I see there's a lot of damage, uh, lots and lots of damage to stores that are obviously already struggling because of being shut down because of the COVID and. All that, so, uh, yeah, I just, I hope the city can heal up after this. Uh, I, I certainly uh, agree with the message of the peaceful protesters, you know, for the anti-police brutality. Uh, my heart goes out to the family of George Floyd and all, uh, over in Minneapolis. It's terrible, terrible news, but uh, destruction is not the answer. Um, you know, I, I, I know there is an argument to be made for that kind of stuff, but it's not, I don't agree with that. It, it doesn't help the case at all, it just makes it worse, so... Anyway, that's all I got to say about that. I don't want to get too political. Um, I do have very strong opinions on this kind of stuff, but that's not what my channel is for, and that's not what this is all about. So, again, I hope the city of Grand Rapids and all cities that are experiencing this can uh, heal up and move on, and I hope some changes will be made. I am not anti-police. I was actually going to school to be in law enforcement. My dad is a retired Grand Rapids law enforcement officer. Um, but uh, there needs to be changes, and hopefully this will be the uh, starting point for it. So, anyway... Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say about that, and um, let's move on to what I got here. So, uh, I ordered these a few weeks ago uh, from my local record store, Vertigo, and um, the uh, uh, the place they ordered them from, I forget what distributor he said they were from, because they were, these are going to be a lot cheaper than what I would have paid for them elsewhere, and I like supporting my uh, local record shop as well, so... Uh, wherever they had to order him from, it had been, uh, hit pretty hard with the virus and all that stuff, so he's like, when I ordered him, he's like, it will take a little while to get here, which it did, but, uh, they came this past Friday, uh, or either Thursday or Friday, they called me Friday, and, uh, I was just getting started with my workout after work, so I was like, well, I'm gonna come and get them as soon as I'm done, and he's like, I'll just give us a call, we'll take your payment over the phone, and he's like, we're doing curbside pickup, so, called, paid and then they they said uh they weren't bringing them out they're like the the record store sits at the bottom of a uh, apartment building and the apartment building behind it goes down like one more uh one more level 
So there's an entrance down there with a couch on it and everything. He's like, so when you think you're going to be here, uh, he's like, if you can give us an approximate time, he's like, just a little bit before you would get here, we go and set him down on a couch in a bag. So I'm like, all right, yeah, I'll just do that. You know, I'm like, it'll take me about 20 minutes to get there. And so lo and behold, I go in, pick it up, and my order is right there. So this is pretty cool. Obviously, it's going to be some Juggalo-related stuff, you'll see. And uh, this shop is very Juggalo-friendly. Uh, actually, in their, where they carry their uh, ICP vinyl, the sign, you know, the little divider sign says Insane Clown Posse, and then under it, it says Whoop Whoop. So here, on my bag that they left it in, says Tim S. Whoop Whoop. So, you can obviously already see one of them in there. So, I picked up Wizard of the Hood. And I also picked up Shaggy Two Dopes Fuck Off. So, I am excited to get both of these. Uh, Wizard of the Hood, I actually did not even know had come out, and I went to look on Amazon, and they were already sold out, like, literally, very, like, really quick, so, we're gonna open these both up and take a look, I'm especially excited about this one, so I'm gonna hold off just a little bit longer, I have, uh, seen, un uh, unboxings of Wizard of the Hood, I'm not sure if I've looked, seen an unboxing of this, of, uh, fuck off, but, I have seen Wizard of the Hood, but I still wanted to share it myself, so, alright, so I'm gonna try to find a spot where I'm not gonna damage the jacket here, this always is uh, tricky. I always want to just do the where the record comes out, but then I'm always afraid I'm going to scratch the record or something. So, all right, got it. All right. So, obviously, nothing, uh, nothing in uh, the fuck off album, and obviously just a regular sleeve. That is pretty cool. The middle fingers there. And uh, I don't even know. so cool. Kind of a tie dye looking, I guess you'd say. Pretty sweet. So just two songs on each side. I actually don't even know why they used a full uh, record for this, but still obviously looks cool. So yeah, not a whole lot to this one. Just a uh, sleeve and the uh, record itself. But I like uh, definitely like that centerpiece there. That's pretty cool. And then of course, just having this in the collection is always nice. So all right, so pretty basic one for fuck off. Let's take a look at Wizard of the Hood. This is the one I'm most excited about. This one you can clearly see is a, uh, what do they call them, a gatefold or whatever. So I'm just going to take the plastic completely off. If I, whenever they're like the sleeve ones like that, I try to leave the plastic on. I'll protect it a little bit more. So, alright, so we got uh, the cover there at the back. But just like the CD and this one also, as I've uh, seen others point out, does include all four bonus tracks. I have, do have both CDs, but the uh, the collector's 10 and the regular. So, all right, let's go ahead and open this up. <clears throat> you got your credits, everything in there. With the uh, wizard himself, obviously Shaggy Too Dope. All right, let's take a look at the one of the discs. I think they're both pretty much the same. So this one is uh, black. Uh, cover for them, and those are fucking sweet looking. Look at that, that is fucking sweet. I love that color. The centerpiece in that one, I, I, I'm not even sure if there's a technical name for those, but the uh, centerpiece, so pretty fucking cool, man. So, and I think the other one is pretty much the same as well. I'll just pop it out real quick and just see if it's the same color. I think it is. I think I've seen pictures of it. But we'll just take a look real quick. And let's see if I can... Yeah, same color. So it's the uh, lime green or whatever you call it, fluorescent green. Same, uh, same centerpiece. So, yeah, these are fucking cool, man. Definitely a uh, good... Um, addition to the collection. I'm going to throw this on the turntable in just a little bit and uh, give this a listen. So definitely excited to have these in my collection. I'm with Shaggy Two Dopes Fuck Off, so I think I got pretty much uh, all of Shaggy's finals now. So I do uh, want to pick up The Shining. I just, uh, the couple times I've seen it, I guess I could probably order it from Vertigo because these were uh, these were both the same price, the $23.98 if you could see the uh, uh, price tag there, uh, and this on uh, that psychopathic uh, shop, the e the old eBay store is forty bucks. So I certainly don't mind supporting their uh, website, but uh, you know, in this time going on, 
Uh, it's definitely nice to save a few bucks. And I also really like supporting Vertigo because I know by doing that, it supports them and it still supports Psychopathic as well. So uh, maybe I'll just order The Shining through them because uh, I did see that available at uh, Hollow Wicked and it was 40 bucks. And I, that's just a little bit too much for me uh, when these are mostly just for my collection. I mean, I listen to them, but it's not like having a CD you know, where I just can bring it, throw it in my car. Well, actually, I listen to most everything on my phone now anyway, but you know what I mean. Uh, these are not going to be anything other than like listening at home. So um, these are mostly just for collecting, you know, collector's pieces and, and supporting the, the label and the record store and all that stuff. So, but yeah, I'll probably see if I can get the Shining as well. I'm trying to collect most everything. There's a few that I've seen they have coming up that I'm probably not interested in. But and I do need to get the Tempest as well. I think that's out too. So, but well, yeah, that's pretty much all I got for today. So, um, I hope uh, everybody is picking these up as well and building up your collection, and I hope you're able to get your hands on them, because I know they're a little bit tricky to find, uh, other than getting them on that psychopathic shop. So, But yeah, that's pretty much all I got. So as always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for supporting. This is Echo Side Fiend, and I will catch you in the next one, and everybody be safe out there. Too sweet.